Uh, Kenny's down in Akron this morning. Hi, Kenny. Good morning, you guys. Good morning. One of my favorite places is Stan Hewitt Hall. This is awesome. Now, we are here in the Grand Hall. Usually, it's so funny because Jules, I, was, I walked in, I'm like, hey, it looks different because I never see it set never. up regular, <laughs> right? It's always for an event. And then uh, during the times where it's set up regular, we're always doing the gardens. Mm -hmm. So I never really get a chance to see it the way everybody else sees it. So this is really cool. Okay, behind the scenes, Stan you all. Now, um, the guys are going to show us the chandelier. Right. Right. And we're not going to play the song by Sia, uh, but we're going to show you the chandelier. You guys did some work with that behind the scenes. We're going to show some video right now. Let's talk about that. Yeah, so over the winter, we realized that our chandelier still had its original original 1915 wiring so it really? needed to be rewired and um, also there was some conservation work so some of those painted surfaces were flaking it just was very dirty it was covered in um, fireplace smoke hmm. cigarette smoke pollen all these different atmospheric things that it had over 100 years uh, so we actually had to put a winch um, in the ceiling space above it and hook it to the chain so we could lower it down to the ground. Wow. And from doing that, we realized that it was actually installed in place. So in 1915, they had scaffolding and they built the chandelier in place at that time. And then that was it. So when we lowered it um, for the first time in January, that's the first time it had ever come down since it was installed. Wow. That's tremendous. And then you had to figure out, okay, well, <laughs> wiring for 2023, um, how do we clean this up? How do we match the, I mean, it sounds like it was a pretty big repair job. It was. So we actually worked with a company in Cleveland, Helper Lighting Solutions, mm -hmm. and they came, they disassembled the chandelier, took it up to their studio in Cleveland, did all the cleaning, did all the repainting, all the rewiring, and then brought it back, reinstalled it in place, and then we lifted it back up, and it's back where it was in 1915. Wow. Wiring from 1915. That still worked. <laughs> still That's kind of crazy. <laughs> and so when people look at it now, now that I'm looking at it, did we do any updates and improvements, I mean, on the exterior? On the, it's just kind of fixed some painting and when an interesting thing we did find out is on tours one of our most common questions is how much does it weigh because hmm, okay. people think how heavy is it it right. looks so it's so large so uh, helper lighting solutions actually measured each of the pieces individually added all those weights together so it's 476 pounds including the wow. metal chain and that has been sustained there all those years. All those years. That is insane. Almost 500 pounds. So these are just a tidbit of things. Now, just think about it. Now, we're talking about 2023, but think about the the amount of manpower or people power we had to use just to maintain mm -hmm. uh, the manor, the grounds, everything. That had to be a tremendous, literally, an army of people. Oh, yes. The uh, the Cyberlings had a whole staff of people that worked here. If you're familiar with Downton Abbey, you can think yeah. butler, housekeeper, housemaids, housemen. They had gardeners outside, chauffeurs. Um, literally engineers yes they yeah. had, they had people here that could kind of take care of the whole house because it was very technologically advanced for 1915 they had a whole internal telephone system they always it was always electrified they had a central vacuum system installed so they had all of these really wow. cutting edge technologies um, that had to be taken care of so we just take for granted now right yeah <laughs> well that's awesome okay well we were here Stan Hewitt Hall hanging out with Jules and we love our lighting speaking of lighting we love our lighting um, <laughs> when we come back lots to show you guys Thanks so much, Jules. You're welcome. All right, back to you guys in the studio. Can you imagine all the work it took just for lighting back yeah. then? And we just take a switch and go blip, blip, and yeah. we're good to go. Right. Pretty interesting, right? I know. We love our lighting, too. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs>